everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for joining me for this week's vlog um i've got a few little exciting things going on um so i thought i'd take you along the ride with me um so first stop today dropping Bertie off at my mum's and then I'm going to get my hair done. I'm just getting the colour done today. Um, I feel like I really like the colour of it at the moment um, but it will be nice to get these roots done. I feel really naked with my hair like up and no earrings in. I better put some earrings in before I leave. Um, so yeah I'm going to get my hair done so I thought that um, I'd film that okay so here is my outfit that i'm gonna wear today i've got this jacket on from mango a stripy t-shirt and then these trousers are new they are like a ribbed knit material nice high-waisted and then i've just popped them on with a new pair of um new balance i just wear my um like brown ones so much and they're so so comfortable i love wearing trainers at the minute and i saw these on asos so i thought i need to get those um so yeah today Today is just a very like kind of simple but comfy outfit for sitting in the hairdresser's chair. I've actually got really like thick hair, so I always have so many foils. So right now I have got a full head of bleach highlights. Um, and Ashley, my hairdresser, uses the Olaplex treatment in the bleach. So it's like less damaging on your hair and protects it a little bit more. Um, I've always had bleach highlights, so I like always look after my hair really well. I have like good shampoos, conditioners, heat protection, that. So my hair's actually in quite good condition, but I do like just to add the Olaplex in just as like another little layer of protection. So this stays on for about half an hour, 45 minutes, and then um, this will be the second time of having my hair done in this way because usually I used to just have like just do this But last time Ashley recommended doing what's it, a build breaker base. No smudge root tap <laughs> so many different Like I think it's a similar thing in many hairdressers, but people just use like a different terminology um, And Ashley calls it a root tap so once the foils have like taken and the bleach has lifted we then do, I think it's like a semi-permanent toner. I will like give you the proper details when we're doing it. Um, but basically she just almost like taps that in between the highlights so that when the bleach highlights grow out, it's just a little bit more natural and like blends it all together a bit more rather than having like such a harsh line from the highlight um, and that the color that she puts on is like a very similar color to my natural color I hope that makes sense but I'll obviously show you um, when she's doing it and then we toned the ends as well the bleach ends get toned as well so it all just like blends in really nice and just has like a much more natural look so yeah it feels we counted and it's almost four months since I last had my hair colored so I'm so excited for it to be all refreshed again look um it looks really dark on the roots but don't worry it's not that dark um got to trust the process with these things so the highlights have now been washed out and the semi-permanent root tap has been applied so that just literally goes on at the root just to break up the highlight so it just like blends out more softly and then the ends have got a toner on them as well on the 
done my hair and makeup for the day yesterday after my hair was done um, my hairdresser just like kind of rough dried it off and um, because I needed to leave um, and today I have styled it myself I always am quite fussy with hairstyling like I like to style it myself anyway so I've washed and done it this morning and I've used as you saw I have used the GHD Rise Hot Brush um, which I haven't used for ages and I forgot like how much I love it it gives look like so much volume at the minute it is like super bouncy but it kind of does drop a little bit um, as the day goes on and I find that this lasts in my hair for like a good few days like for days after I've still got like a nice bit of body in my hair so my scalp and skin does feel a little bit sensitive um this morning um i feel like the the dye might have just like triggered off something because i have to add, like as you probably would have seen when i was before i had makeup on my face was like a little bit pink i've had a couple of rashes come up i've got such sensitive skin so i feel like it's just triggered something off but my scalp does feel a bit like tight um but i've had this before so it will relieve itself in a few days anyway i have done a fairly big h&m order because there's just so many amazing things in h&m at the moment so that has just arrived so i'm going to show you what i've got okay now on to the h&m pieces that i have recently bought it's just arrived today um first up is this really nice knitted dress big chunky roll neck and it's in this gorgeous like light sage green i really really love this color it's so nice and to keep it like fairly like wintery i've paired it with some black accessories gone with my chanel bag and these are fairly new from river island they're so so comfortable um really really soft leather so yeah absolutely love this one as always everything um will be linked in the description box below Hello everyone. So yesterday didn't quite go to plan. So I'm back the day later. Today it's Friday um, to show you the rest of the H&M items. So yesterday you saw the knitted dress in a very similar colour to this. I'm obsessed with this colour. Look at this like little cardi jumper. I think that I would actually wear this like this. More of a cardigan with the top two buttons open. I have only got a bra underneath, so I'm not gonna unbutton it all the way, but you could definitely pop like a little white tee underneath um, and wear it open. But I really love it like this because I just love these big buttons on there. So nice, such a gorgeous sagey green color. Um, the jeans and boots are not new from H&M, but I wanted to wear them with this look because they're also from H&M. The boots are actually last year, um, however, they have got them back again this year and jeans are H&M this year They featured in one of my new and hauls recently. They're really nice 
high-waisted I love white jeans in the winter um, I love this little look next up we have a blazer I absolutely love the color of this I think for me this is like the perfect brown I think super dark brown uh, sometimes can be like can have like too many kind of orangey undertones which I don't think are flattering on my skin so I really like this cooler lighter toned brown i'm wearing a size small um it said it was oversized and it, it is however i think i would prefer it more oversized so i think i might change it for a medium if it is still available because i really like it i think i just want it like a touch bigger um and then i've just kept it on with the same jeans and boots it actually goes so perfectly with these boots which i really love so as soon as i saw this coat online i knew that i had to order it and i got it in another color as well um it's such like a simple design um and it's just like classic black so i know i'm going to wear this so much and i'm definitely missing an oversized black coat in my wardrobe so i'm wearing a size small and it is quite oversized it's also quite long just for reference i'm usually a size 10 and i'm five foot four um so it's just kind of coming kind of to the middle of my calf i would say it's got these two big really nice big pockets here um you can tighten the sleeves if you want because there's another button to adjust i just love it this is just such a simple black and white monochrome outfit but i just think it looks super kind of looks kind of effortlessly cool if you know what i mean here is the coat in the other color and this is more of an oatmeal beigey tone i absolutely love this outfit i think this is my favorite outfit from um what i've been showing you today underneath is also um a really nice knit um i'd say it's got a slight more like sagey tone to it but i do think it sits really nicely with the oatmeal and um, again i'm wearing a size small on camera i find sometimes black clothing is quite hard to show details so you can see a bit more of the shape and detail um on this one it's still it's like exactly the same we've got the big pockets big buttons the extra button on the wrist to like do it up tighter my final piece of knitwear to show you from H&M is this green again. I think like this must be one of their favourite colours and I'm not mad about it because I am loving it at the moment. It's slightly cropped but not like showing your belly cropped. Um, it's got this really nice kind of funnel neck, a simple cable knit, um, some balloon sleeves but then it kind of goes in at the um, cuff as well. I really, really love this and I like slightly shorter jumpers to wear with jeans exactly like this okay so final piece from h&m and we have got oh a fleece how delightful oh my god i love it it's got these really nice big well they're not actually that big nice pockets here this oh my gosh warm snuggly vibes right here in this gorgeous cream borg fleece well is it a fleece? I don't know because the inside isn't fleecy. However, it's fleecy all the way around, fleecy on the hood. It's got these little elasticated pulley things so you can tighten the hood and get really snug in there. It's got a little random pocket here, but I quite like that. Um, oh my gosh, this is so nice. I think that they had this in khaki green as well. There's one thing that I forgot to show you. Um, this really nice quilted white super lightweight literally feels like i'm wearing nothing shacket um no pockets oh i just want to put my hand in there's no pockets that's hmm that could be a major factor in returning it but it's so nice i rolled the sleeves up as they were quite long really really love it i actually saw this online a while ago but it said coming soon so i've been waiting for this for quite a while i need to obviously be mindful of what i'm keeping so mm, what do you think let me know what you think i should keep and what i should return in the comments below can you see how big <laughs> this h&m box is this is what it all came in I think it's the coats because they were quite big, but this box is absolutely massive. Whilst I am showing you some new in bits, I couldn't not show you this coat. I got recently from River Island. 
if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen it because um, I did. I have done a project with them on it, but I just had to show it on here. Look at this. Sorry, I haven't got any shoes on. Basically, my dream coat has always been the Max Mara Teddy coat, and um, four years ago, I was in New York and tried it on. I was obviously never going to buy it. It's like two and a half grand. I'm not going to spend that on coats, um, and. It's just always been my dream. And then, I've always tried to find similar ones, you know, and there's always teddy coats on the market. However, this, for me, feels different. It's, it just feels so much more luxurious than any other teddy coat. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's something, maybe these are quite big. It's so soft. It's also, I'm five foot four, remember, so I'm not overly tall, but it's super long as well, and I think, that's perhaps what makes it look, I think, a bit more premium. Usually they might be like cut on the calf, but I think the long length is amazing. Oh gosh, it's just so, so nice. I'm wearing a size small in this. I've also got one more thing I wanna show you. I didn't even know that I needed a Teddy Gilet until I tried this on. It's the same, actually, it's slightly shorter than the coat, but it's still got this big kind of collar so nice. They also do this in the same colour as the coat and then I believe they do the coat in this colour. So there's a bit of like mixing and matching going on there but again it's got pockets. It's just so nice and as I'm showing you this I'll pop a photo of me wearing it. Also when I went to London earlier in the week with my mum to shoot some looks she got a bit cold and put this on over her outfit. It looked so nice. I'll pop the pic of her wearing it as well. Again, I'm wearing a size small and yeah, it's just so nice. Hello everyone. It's been a few days since I picked up the vlogging camera and um, I wasn't going to include this in the vlog because it's Sunday today and I was going to put the vlog live this morning. Actually, I thought I'd take you along with this trip. So hopefully now this video will kind of go live maybe like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So, what do you want? Have I got the ignition on? It's off now. What's going, what have I done? I've had this car for a year and I feel like I still don't know how, like, what I'm doing with it. Right, fine. Um, so yeah, I've arrived in Bath and I've driven here. It's taken maybe two and a half hours. No, maybe like two hours, 20 minutes from home. And because I've just arrived to the Priory Hotel, so it's like just outside of like Bath City, it's not in the centre, which is actually quite nice when you're driving because um, it's just easier to get to. Um, so I'm here with Phase 8, the brand. Um, we're just here for this evening and then leaving tomorrow. We have got an afternoon tea and then a spa treatment, I believe, and then a nice dinner and then stay over here as well. So all of my outfits are phase A and I'm like so excited to show you them later. I love them so much. You can't really see what I'm wearing now. And I took my jacket off whilst I was driving. So yeah, I'll show you everything later. I'm sorry if the light's a bit weird. The light's like coming in behind me, um, but it is 10 to two. I'm due, I'm 10 minutes early, which is great, but I'm actually, really need the toilet because I stopped on the way and got a Starbucks. It was a drive through Starbucks, which was so good. Um, yeah, so I need the toilet. I just want to kind of freshen up because it feels like I've been in the car for a while, stretch my legs for a second and then meet everyone at two o'clock. So I will update you a bit more when we're in there. So I have just checked into my room and um, luckily the room was ready before heading down for some afternoon tea and it's so, so beautiful. I love the, the pink and like the sage green together. So nice and I've got this absolutely gorgeous balcony. I'll go out here later and show you. I was just giving you a quick little glimpse. I need to head down now but um, yeah, it's so, so gorgeous. So spacious and light and airy and lovely. And then in here, this huge big bathroom and then this lovely vanity here as well so just to show you my phase 8 outfit of the day I've got these really gorgeous faux leather black like wide leg clots 
Um, these lovely boots are also from Phase 8. I'll link everything later. I've got a black uh, roll neck. This is such gorgeous quality. It feels really nice. And then this really nice checked jacket. Obviously, when I picked this outfit, I thought it was gonna be a bit more wintry. It's such a gorgeous day today. I'm actually a bit hot in it, but I like don't want to take off the jacket because I really feel like it completes the outfit. Um, I will link everything later on for you as well. makeup we had a little like relax in the spa earlier did a little swim went in the steam room um, and now I've had a shower and got ready I'm just putting on my jewelry and then I need to do my lipstick the pendant one that I've just put on is from Katie Bell and then this one is my Misoma link one this one is from uh, Majuri that one is my Monica Venada one, but those don't feel right. I think that goes on that finger, and that one goes there. My favourite lip combo at the moment is, as, as I said in my uh, favourites video, if you watched it, I have got the Bare Minerals Grace. The lighting, smooth you, because it's not great here. That's better lighting. Grace by Bare Minerals. All right, I've got the lipsticks in the hand. I'm holding the camera in. Then we have got oh, the Beauty Ply. Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss over the top. I'm gonna stand on the bed and show you my dress. There's no full length mirror here, so I can't really get closer to show you. I need to put my shoes on. But I've got this really nice uh, wrap dress. Um, it's black, got these little like bits on the shoulders, and then it's just got really nice, like dainty uh, floral pattern. I'm going to wear it with my super high new heels from ASOS. These are like mega. I mean, I don't even know who I think I am because I never wear heels and I bet I can barely even walk in these, but we're not going far. We're staying in the hotel, so I'm just gonna go for it. Your personality within that, and that's exactly what Phase 8 is about. It's about making you the best version of yourselves. 